actually paint it. We usually paint these. But we did our layout. This is a two-story version. Uh, and it has all the rooms, bathrooms, and whatnot. And, uh, and we did all the stairwells and the kitchen layouts. And we actually, because it's a, it's a really nice way to focus group this, we take it to, to uh, um, our home buyers. We usually pick our home, you know, prospective home buyers or homeowners, and we say, what do you think of this? Uh, but this is what our basements, above ground basements, would look like. And we'd be able to, like I said, make that boat storage, make that dog station, make that workout room, um, and, and still work within our, our ordinances. So thank you all for hearing me out today, and I appreciate I probably took a little more time than I should. But uh, thank you all very much. I'm humbled to, to be able to work here in this great city and work with our, our, our city fathers. Thank you much. Thank you so much, Jack. Uh, uh, will this? Will you be able to stick around so the, yeah. so so you can come up and see this after the the meeting? All right. I'm going to ask again. How many of you have been to the Bender Performing Arts Center yet to see a play or a program or? A, so, okay. Look, a few more hands each time. It's growing. If you haven't been there yet, you have to go. It's just an excellent venue for a show or a play, or a performance of any type. So, to tell us a little bit more about what's going on, please help me welcome Jennifer Wooden, the City of Humble. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jack, thank you for all that you offered. Um, you gave uh, lots of compliments to the leadership in the city. And just one thing I wanna say, and I kinda say it over and over, but you guys really care about people and it's so evident. Um, they're not in the business for politics. They care about the people here. And so I'm honored to work with you or for you. Uh, so for the bender, um, Adam talked about the voice. Um, so we started this last year. It was really minute last year and it's grown. Um, the Sarah Grace from The Voice, her um, agent was in touch with me and said, have you heard of her? Have you heard of her? I'm like, no, I don't watch The Voice. And then so some people around here started saying, have you heard the, the girl from Houston? I'm like, no, no, I haven't. But once I heard her, I was like, I need to have her now before she gets big. So she was eliminated a couple of weeks ago, but I'm gonna do a, um, show you a brief video. She'll be a, a guest performer at The Voice this Saturday. Something told me it was over yeah. When I saw you in the corner Talking uh. hey. Somewhere deep down I must have said cry A walking round I said, baby, baby, baby yeah. Yeah. A Slow fade. <laughs> so you guys got your tickets. I think Adam's got a couple tucked away in his jacket to sell. Um, yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> so I didn't see how many people have been to the bender. Yes, hands up. Thank you for coming. I, I knew I liked Jack for some reason. You are into the arts. And um, the bender is a gift to the city that the city of Humble um, foresaw to do. Is foresaw a word? Foresaw, yes. Um, so the next show that we have in January is Night at the Ballet um, with Vitaka Dance Project. Um, they are coming back. They had a full house last year. And they're a pre-professional company out of the Montrose area. And my daughter happened to have trained with them. Um, and she, four years later, is uh, invited. She's got three invitations to London to audition next week. So super excited, and this is where her training was. Next. Okay, so um, this is one of our first adult stage plays that we have at the Bender, and it's No Soldier Left Behind. It's a tribute to our, um, off, I mean, to our uh, military, and it's in February, at the end of February. The, the playwright... Um, is from a different world, the spinoff from Cosby Show. And so she is here in Houston, and she visited the Bender and loved the space, loved the acoustics there, and um, she's presenting one of her first plays at the Bender on stage. So we're excited about that. Rob Landis is back. Um, I talked about this last time. I invited Rob Landis because someone recommended him. I didn't know they were recommending the piano player from Houston. So this guy flies all the way in from Utah and kills the place. 
Um, he was amazing. He was raised on classical music only, and once he got older, he got exposed to other music, and he does it all on the violin with a loop pedal, and he's incredible, so he's excited about coming back. Um, the 80 players from Houston, so they have been around for many, many years. They just built a huge um, theater on Westheimer, and they do tours in the suburbs, I guess, like, we don't know how to drive in New Houston, but um, I'm like, well, come on. So they'll be on stage presenting Chronicles of Narnia just after Easter. And Emerging Arts Dance Festival. Um, this is a dance festival where they, they give thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in scholarships all over the country to young dancers. And uh, we'll be featuring Bruce Wood Dance Company, a professional company out of Dallas. And then CYT, they are there probably about five times a year at the Bender. They stay probably two weekends, maybe four shows every weekend, and they fill the house every time. Um, this is children's theater, but excellent quality. So if you guys have ever, have you anybody been to CYT plays? Yeah, really, really good. And then this guy... Um, out of Baton Rouge. He is insanely entertaining. Um, people drove as far as four hours to see Kenny Neal last year. Um, super blessed to have him back, and it'll be June 14th that he'll be here, and then he always does a little after show at Green Oaks, um, and Sarah Grace is doing a little after show at Green Oaks as well. And then lastly, we have Fab Five coming back as, um, this summer too. I don't know how all of this got off, but I guess I saved it wrong. Okay, so I um, wanted to also announce the rodeo, which I, had, I didn't realize that um, Jerry and Adam were going to be speaking. So that's a huge party on our grounds. And then um, lastly, we have uh, Good Oil Days in April. So we are in the process of growing um, the festival and super excited. Good Oil Days, uh, this is the 39th year, but it was designed as, I mean, it's the only town festival, but also to bring attention to downtown Humble. And so um, we are right now in the process of growing it, but also looking for sponsors. So I'll be hanging out right here. You can come to me or I can go to you. You make it easy. It's okay. So, um, but that's April 5th and 6th in the, the spring. So I'll be giving more about that. And also, this, I think this is the last slide, but the Houston Barbecue Festival um, made its home at the Humble Civic Center last year. They weren't sure how it was going to work out. People loved it. And so um, they, again, will be here in April. I think it's the weekend of the 12th and the 13th, I think, something like that. But um, be sure to come out, and it's like the best barbecue around Houston. So I think that's all we have. Thank you, Jennifer. So... Get your tickets from Adam or Jennifer for any of those performances. And they go on the website too, right, Jennifer? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, city uh, or Bender, humblepack.com, mm -hmm. Performing Arts Center, humblepack.com. Okay, Mr. Mayor mentioned about Dr. Ganim's facility, and we're so fortunate to have so many great uh, medical facilities right here in the city of Humble and surrounding areas. And so we're going to have a new one. So to tell us about that, please help me welcome Dr. Rick Ganim. Well, thanks for having me, um, Dr. Rick Ganim. I represent Vital Heart and Vein. Um, as you know, um, we've been in the area for about 20 years. We have offices in Kingwood, Humble, also in the Texas Medical Center in Pearland. Um, we've been thinking about building our own building for about 10, 15 years, and we finally found a great spot in Humble. The building uh, on the feeder road right after Will Clayton, in between Will Clayton and Rooms to Go, that white building going up, that's us. Um, 65,000 square feet. Um, we're going to have um, a new state-of-the-art surgical center, um, all the cardiovascular testing, CAT scans, um, preventative medicine. Um, I'm a plumber by trade. I open up arteries. Um, we, ha we have electricians that work on the rhythm of the heart. So we're about 20, 21 physicians right now. And I just talked to the contractor before I got here. February 4th is hopefully opening date. They told us November, December, January. Now it's February 4th. So um, signs should be going up in a week or two. And hopefully you guys don't need us. But we're there, we're here to support you, take care of you. And um, if you have any questions afterwards, just, just grab me and we'll talk, talk to you. All right. Fantastic, thank you, Dr. Ganim. And I think we have announcement, right, Jennifer? 
Jenna, when I say Jennifer. Jenna Armstrong from the Lake Houston Area Chamber of Commerce. Thank you. I'm Jenna Armstrong, the president and CEO of the Chamber. I wanted to thank all of you guys for being here. This is one of our uh, most popular and favorite programs to do, our BizCom. And man, is it an exciting time to be an humble? I mean, it really, really is. When you hear all this stuff that's going on, and uh, definitely that's a kudos to Mayor Aaron, um, Council Member Funderburg, um, and I'm going to mention uh, City Manager Jason Stu because he's kind of my boss now on our board. Um, so thank you guys. But your vision um, has been so exciting this last year y'all have put so many things in place um, and I was speaking to a large realtor group at the end of 2018 and they're like what do you see coming on the horizon what do we need to watch and I said I'm watching the city of Humble because what they're doing downtown the infrastructure that they're putting in we've got the bender that's bringing in great performances we have people like uh, Gwen Key I think I saw her back here she's doing music on Main all the the music that's going on in the park downtown that really brings a lot of um, culture and people together. It's a great family event. And she's really active in the Christmas parade too. I mean, it's just a lot of great people that are coming together and I think it's an exciting city and so I'm um, happy to, to be a part of it in our region. So uh, this is completely off script. I'm sorry, I'm gonna hurry up. Um, I also wanted to recognize um, our staff that's here with us today. Uh, we have our executive vice president, Chris O'Dell, and she is back there. Chris, um, she is the staff liaison for BizCom, so the person responsible um, on our staff for making sure that everything goes through smoothly, and she does a fantastic job. And uh, Chris is here with a very new employee of ours. She's on day four. Yes. Um, our new Vice President of Membership, Mary Morley, is right there. So everybody be very nice to her. We would like to have a day five, at least. Um, but please stop by and say hi to Mary. We're very excited to have her on board and a part of the Chamber team. And uh, we expect really big, great things from her. No pressure, Mary, but yes, we do. Um, <laughs> I, the, what I'm supposed to be up here talking about is we have a trip coming up in February where we go to Austin. It's our uh, biannual trip. It's a legislative trip where we go um, as a business community and we meet with our state senators and we meet with our um, house reps to talk about the business issues uh, that need to be addressed during this legislative session. So we've got our legislative priorities. We go up there. This sounds really daunting and scary, I'm sure, but it's not. It's a conversation that we have um, with our elected officials, business person to elected official, and how can you help us? You represent us in Austin, and this is what we need. So we typically take a group of about 30 to 35 people. It's open for anyone to join us. Uh, two day trip, one night. Uh, we have a great legislative dinner, um, and the city of Humble sponsors that, and we have our legislators that come, and we eat dinner together, um, and then we go do our visits. So if you're, if you're, interested um, in coming, please sign up. We've got the signups online and um, it really is a great time to meet other business professionals but learn a lot about the legislative process and to speak up for your business and what's important to you. I know to some people it can seem a little bit intimidating, like I don't know about all this, but it's a group. We talk to you before you go. We talk to you while you're there. You don't have to say anything if you're not comfortable. We have plenty of businesses that like to talk. So you can come and um, sit back and learn about it, and I guarantee you, you will walk away from it feeling like this is um, a great event. I have a lot of benefit. And I'm gonna brag, you're gonna say, wow, our chamber does some great things. And they're doing a lot of great things for our business community. So please come to it. I see several faces in here of people that come to it. I know Jamie goes to it. Erica's back there. Who has been to it? Raise your hand if you've been to our office. Several people, Greg, Greg's in the back. He's on our public affairs committee. So talk to them and ask them about it and say, what did you get, about, get out of it? And they'll, um, I'm sure, say glowing, glowing remarks about it that process. So please register, uh, talk to us about it, uh, come along. We'd love, love, love to have you. And I will relinquish the mic. Thank you, Jenna. <laughs> Thank you very much. And thanks for everyone for attending. Just real quickly on the back of your program, some upcoming uh, dates and announcements. Uh, talked about the legislative trip. Our next BizCom will be right here, May 2nd. And then our 
third one for the year, October 3rd. So go ahead and get your phones out and put those in your calendars. And then I won't read all of those others, but you see the, up uh, the upcoming chamber events there uh, starting uh, the 24th uh, of, of January. So any of those interest you, those chamber members will be here, Chris, Odell, and uh, of course Jenna. And so we'd love to have you. I, I, uh, strong advocate for the chamber. They, they do so much more than just business to business relationships as, as part of the legislative trip. And so if you are not a, a member of the chamber, we certainly welcome you to the BizCom, but we please consider joining the chamber and helping uh, with all the other things that it does on your behalf. And so um, just consider that. So we, uh, Beasley Tire uh, did a drawing. Did anyone not get their card and had that has one that wants to throw one in? Got a really nice light kit up here. We're gonna give three of those away real quickly. I'm gonna let you draw, Mr. Mayor. Anybody else? Uh, <laughs> it's a free one. <laughs> okay. We got, I, I don't know, what's it say? Le, LEO, two light modes. It's a, some kind of flashlight. Safety light if you get caught uh, on the side of the road or something. So, but the best kind are, are the free ones. Uh. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You're welcome. There we go. Again, I want to thank Beasley Tire for doing this, and, and please consider all of our local businesses for your, your needs. Oh, I'm going to make me put my glasses on. Our first winner is Nate Beverly. Oh, way back there. There he is. Okay. We'll go on to the next one, but come on up. Shake him up. And the winner is Bill Springfield. Last lucky winner, Rebecca Gonzalez. So again, thank you for coming. We've got the model up here for you to look at. Um, uh, Sparks Insurance, I think, maybe had some uh, information if you need it. Um, if you're hungry after lunch, you can go to Chick-fil-A at Fall Creek. For your pastor needs, Jerry Martin can take care of you. And so, again, thanks to all of our gold sponsors and our presenting, presenting sponsors, Memorial Herman and Rosewood Funeral Home. So thank you, and, and we'll see you in May. But I hope to see you out at the humble rodeo and barbecue cook-off. <laughs>